Today we're going to make junk mail birdhouse collages. And a collage is when you take things, usually paper scraps, but it could be ribbons or um, just anything that you want to add to a picture and you cut it out into the shapes that you want to make the pictures. Now sometimes collages overlap, you glue things on top of each other, and sometimes they don't have to. So I found this pattern of a birdhouse and the first time I did it, I wanted to just stick right to it. And so I cut out a piece of paper that was the right size to cover the birdhouse. I cut out all the shapes to cover the bird. And so it looks fine. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. But then I realized, you know, that wasn't really very creative. I just did what I was going to do, what they showed me to do. And I didn't use any of my own ideas. So then I did it again so many times with a project where you're creative, if you do it more than once, you get more creative and you're happier with the results that you get later on. So I tried again on a paper bag instead of a regular piece of copy paper. I just used a paper bag because you know what? I kind of swiped it from the second grade. They used this to put their papers in and it was just the right size. So I used that for my background. Then I cut out the same shapes I still use. And then, as I was looking through magazines, I found these pictures that look just like birdhouses. So I cut them out just the way they were and made them the birdhouses. So I had three birdhouses in that one and I painted the background before I glued anything on. And then I really got into it and I started tearing paper and overlapping it to make the sky. And then I, I used my envelopes to make the bird. And then this one was super simple. I just found this photograph out of a magazine that I liked. And so I cut this bird shape, I mean the birdhouse shape out of the word love. And I just thought that was so cute. I was done. It was quick, quick, easy. So this project is a pretty easy project. And I do hope that you want to make it because it would make some very attractive art. And you could include this in the art show or in anything you want to make. So like I said, I've enjoyed making, all of those are my samples. I didn't even make my family do this one, <laughs> like I usually do. But today, I went through magazines and mail. I saved all the mail. You know how they have those wonderful patterns on the inside of the, the bills? They, your parents don't like getting the bills, but you can enjoy the envelopes. And then I went through the magazines and I cut out colors and, and things that I liked. And I wasn't sure if I'd use them, but I just decided that that's how I was going to do it. So I found this colorful page, these oranges, this birthday cake, and I cut in, into a shape of a birdhouse. This solid green I thought was pretty. I found this corn. I don't know why they had a whole picture of corn, but I thought the texture of that was just wonderful. And then in a catalog, they had all these colors put together. You know how they set the um, shirts in a stack so that you can see all the different colors of shirts that they would love to sell you. So I, I got all these different things and I thought that is wonderful. And then I found this quilting magazine and they had this great advertisement and this really colorful bag. So I did all that. I just went through and decided to start cutting and I didn't actually make the picture yet. So we're gonna go through that and and do that. So I started with my envelope and I'm going to use this side because I told you I really like the texture of that side. And then I'm going to take that and then put um, some, pick some colorful pieces. I'm going to look around and I think I really like um, these. I really like these. So I'm going to cut um, two of those for my roof. And then I'll just get some extra color there and so then I take it and glue it. I should have gotten just a plain piece of paper but you know uh, that doesn't even matter either what I glue it to. I can glue it to something else. For now I'm just going to start by making the birdhouse and here's a rooftop and here's a rooftop there we go and then I'm gonna this uh, this is a picture of a camera and I thought that'll make a really good door for my birdhouse so here's my door on my birdhouse and then I can find 
Maybe I'll use this colorful stack of shirts for the stick that the birdhouse sits on. And then I'll make my bird. And the bird, if you watched the picture pie, that was perfect that that came right before this. If I went through all my things, all my um, different pictures and found circles, and like if I cut out circles that I would have all ready, but of course, you know me, kind of a messy gal, and I've misplaced my circles that I had all ready to go. So anyway, here's one. Here's one. This, I thought this sweater pattern was really pretty, so that can be um, uh, the body of a bird, and then I can cut out um, a head shape out of this pretty green. And attach it right there and then make some other color the uh, the beak you know so here's a nice dark color that I want for the beak so I'll just cut a little triangle and glue that right onto there I don't know if you can see it I'll lift it up here in a second so I glue the head and I glue the beak and I add I can either draw the eyeball or whatever. I can add my uh, wings on there. Again, I'm going to make a circle. I thought I had a, here we go, these, these. So for this I'll do a half a circle for one wing and a half a circle for the other wing. And I really like this pattern that's on that envelope so I can just Make that go behind the bird so it looks like, whoops, on the bird, whatever I want to do. And then I probably should be thinking about a different way to make a bird because it seems like I always just do the same, same kind of bird, but I guess there's lots of different ways you can make a bird. So there's my bird and here's my bird house. And remember when you make a collage, you're gluing things down to make your picture. You're taking things and cutting them out. And if you want, like I said, you can add um, rhinestones or ribbons or anything that you have around the house, any piece of scrap. But this, I think everybody has junk mail and I know your parents have bills, so they definitely have these kinds of textured envelopes. So go ahead and find whatever you can and you can use anything for your background, a piece of coffee paper, a lunch bag, a painted paper, even just a scene from a magazine that you like already. So I hope you have fun making this and I would love to see some on the email. So please send me pictures of the things that you've done on your email, on my email. Love you. Bye.